Well, you're watching The Daily Report. It is 50 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for staying with us. Time for that important conversation I did inform you earlier on redefining responsibility towards circularity. This, in essence, is matters, uh, you know, uh, recycling and you know re reducing rather our responsibility towards circularity and designing ma packaging materials that are to be recyclable and to help Kenya realize a circular economy. My two guests are already here. The gentleman I told you about on my right is James Odongo. He is the Chief Administrative Officer at Kepro and James uh, currently holds the position of Chief Administrative Officer at the Kenya Extended Producer Responsibility Organization that is Kepro and prior to his role he served as the CEO of the Nairobi of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and he's an alumnus of the University of Nairobi and also currently pursuing an MSc in urban management from the same institution that is the University of Nairobi. On my left is uh, Klaus Len Christensen. I got that right? Mm -hmm. uh, he's the DI East Africa manage Manager, and he has varied experience within both public and private sector and has worked on three continents, that is Europe, North America, and Africa. And since 2021, East Africa Manager for one of the largest employer and business member organizations in Europe, the Confederation of Danish Industry, DI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And before that close, of course, was heading DI's office in New York between 20, uh, uh, 2015 and 2020, with a focus on clean tech trade between the US and Denmark and he has also worked with the British Embassy and the Spanish Embassy in Copenhagen, Denmark respectively. Thank you so much gentlemen you, for joining us on the program. Quite uh, you know, an important conversation to have right here in the country, especially on matters recycling. But at this point, I mean Kenyans and you know the viewers have been curious to find out what exactly it is that you do and I think I'll begin with you James. What exactly is it is that you do you know, in your organization? Okay, yeah. thank you Martinga. And, and, and maybe just to set context for today's conversation Yes. And, and what Kepro fundamentally does. Mm -hmm. I'll take you back to 2017 yes. when we had the, the, the ban of the single-use plastic ba mm -hmm. bags in, in Kenya. And that set the conversation for uh, management of other material fractions that cause uh, pollution to the environment. Yes. And more particularly the plastic menace that we had during, during that period of, uh, of time. Mm -hmm. But then the idea was, and then more fundamentally for the private sector was, even if you'd want to ban packaging or, or certain material fractions mm -hmm. from polluting the environment, mm -hmm. until when will you, uh, I mean, you can't ban products into perpetuity. Yes. So the idea was we'd want to manage um, uh, the products that we'd want to call stubborn material as far as environmental conversation is concerned. Mm -hmm. And so between 2017 uh, through to 2019, there was a conversation, of course, supported by the Confederation of Danish Industries, mm -hmm. um, largely private sector driven, uh, uh, so uh, the Confederation of Danish Industry coming together with the Kenya Association of Manufacturers and other private sector players. They came together and gave a solution to the government that we'd rather manage uh, these material fractions that you're talking about burning as opposed to burning because of course they're also the environmental, beyond the environmental consequences, the economic consequences uh, might also be challenging. So what better way would we be able to ensure that we are balancing the environmental um, uh, impact as well as the beneficial aspects of the economy. Mm -hmm. So between 2017 and 2019, through of course deliberations and continuous engagement with the various actors, uh, there was something we are calling the Kenya Plastic Action Plan. Yeah. So of course through the, still the uh, support of the Danish uh, industries. Mm -hmm. And that paved the way for the Sustainable Waste Management Act. Mm -hmm. So the Kenya Plastic Action Plan was uh, introducing what you're calling the extended producer responsibility and we'll, we'll get policy the, yeah. approach. Yes, yes, And you'll get to the details yes, of yes. that. Yes. Uh, but Klein, thank you. I mean, uh, Klaus, Len, yes. thank you so much mm -hmm. for joining us. Uh, your organization is also...